Morning Show. Podcast. Roses are red. Violets are blue. When we call your man, he'd better choose you. Let's hop right in. Melanie, good morning. Good morning, guys. There's a lot to process here with War of the Roses. Let's get to the basics. You and Ben have been together for how long? Like a year and a half. And do we live together or do we spend a lot of time at each other's place? Uh, yeah, we basically live together. Okay, but you still both have a separate place? Is yeah, that fair? but okay. we're, you know, we're together all the time. Gotcha. Yeah. And so everything's going fine. We both travel a lot for work. But the reason that we're mm-hmm. here is because of your Golden Lab Max. Is that right? Yeah. Exactly. And, and before we get into uh, Max in particular, I want to make sure I got the timeline right. So you both travel a lot for work, right? Mm-hmm. And this past yep. Sunday, you left town. I did. And this past yep. Tuesday, um, Ben was leaving town for his own work thing. Right. So instead of putting Max in doggy daycare from Sunday until you're back, which would be a lot of money, so anybody knows, mm-hmm. um, Ben took Max right. in for a couple of days, and Ben dropped Max off on Tuesday. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. It, which makes all the sense in the world. As somebody who's put dogs in daycare, it, it's expensive, so I completely understand. Yeah. We got a call from right. the daycare when? Uh, they called me yesterday. Okay. And they told you what? They told me that Max threw up, and he didn't just throw up. He threw up a black song. Mm. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Mm-hmm. And we're positive this couldn't be your, and which, uh, for whatever reason, dogs love underwear. It's the they oddest really thing. They really do. Um, right. But how are we positive <laughs> it's not yours? Well, I don't own any black songs. I don't even wear songs anymore. Like, okay. past that. So, <laughs> sure. I, don't, I don't have any songs anymore. Mm. Okay. And um, I want to bring this up, too. I thought it was important. So Max is crate trained, so it's not like he could have, when you were at work, gotten out of you know your closet or found something, right? It's like there's no possible yeah, way. Yeah, there's, like, there's no way. There's no way he could have gotten out and done that. Okay. So, mm. okay. so let me do this. Instead of calling Ben with the typical roses, let me call from, like, um, I'll try to call from daycare or the daycare agency, and I'll try to see mm-hmm. if he'll answer me what's going on, okay? Yeah, you got it. Thank you. All right. War of the Rose is next in your morning show. So War of the Rose is on your morning show. Melanie, I'm going to recap this. So you and Ben have been together for about a year and a half. We basically live mm-hmm. together, but we both travel a lot for work. We have a golden lab named Max. Uh, uh, point of clarification, Max is yours or he's a shared dog? Oh, he's mine. Okay. But I guess like he's based, but Ben's kind of like mm-hmm. the, the dad, quote unquote. Yeah, pretty gotcha. much. Yeah. Okay. So you went out of town on Sunday for work. Ben was going out of town on Tuesday for work. Instead of Max going to daycare for two extra days, Ben dropped Max off. Daycare called you and said, Hey, dog threw up underwear. We know they're not yours because you don't wear that underwear. And also, uh, Max is crate trained, so he wouldn't have had time to rummage through stuff, right? Correct. Okay. Uh, text coming in. Is there anybody in Ben's life you would suspect he'd be involved with? Or has he been acting shady? Does this uh, open up other questions for you? No, not at all. I mean, we both travel a lot. So, like, okay. I, I I guess I wouldn't know, but he hasn't been acting shady or anything. No. Okay. So let me just, I'm going to call him. Instead of just offering him flowers, I'm going to call from, uh, I guess I'll call it like a, a dog agency. As if I'm working mm-hmm. with the um, the place, and he he's Max is still in, in day camp, right? Yeah. Okay. And, and tell when? Uh, till Friday afternoon. Okay. Perfect. All right. Hold on one second. Do 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 do. By the way, Max, fantastic dog name, Such especially a for a lab. Oh, come on now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hello. Hi, calling for Ben, please. Uh, this is he. How can I help you? Ben, my name is Leo Tard. Let's see. How are you? Wait, wait uh, who? I'm sorry. Sorry, what was that? So, sorry, what can I do for you? Hey, so my name is Leo. I'm calling for Happy Paws. We are um, we work with your dog care system. And so I'm calling you real quick in regards to, uh, let me look up Max, if, that's a, if you have a quick second for me. Yeah, what's going on with Max? 
So, uh, I, before I can tell you everything, because of, we call it DIPA, it's the dog version of the health laws, I need to ask some verification questions. Uh, what I can tell you is that we, my company, owns a bunch of doggy daycares across the country. Yours happens to be our network. So, before we go further, um, I need you to verify some things about Max uh, based on forms yeah. that looks like, because you're listed on the account along with Melissa. Melanie, damn it. Mel- Melanie. So there we go. Melanie. Yes. A Melanie is who to you? Yeah. Uh, th- th- that's my girlfriend. Oh, very exciting. Okay. So, um, first question, Max's favorite color. Uh, I, I, I don't know his favorite color. Um, he, I mean, dogs are colorblind. Well, you guys put oh. down something though. So what would you think would be a favorite color? If you had to guess. Uh, probably. Probably blue. blue. Uh, I, don't, okay, that, I don't know. Yeah, that, that checks out. Really Perfect. So that's one of two. This next uh, verification, we do a, ba- uh, a barking reconnaissance test. So I'm going to play wow. three barks down the line. You tell me which bark is most similar to Max, okay? Well, okay. Can, can you can you just, can you at least tell me if Max is okay? Well, so, yeah, I have to understand that like, we're very protective of dogs, and like we don't want any stranger off the street getting this information. So just bear with me one Ooh. second. I promise we're right to it. Yeah, I mean, but I mean, what would a stranger do knowing just if the dog's okay or not? I, I, I'm sorry. I, I listen. I um, you're being a super star of a dad, but I really need to get this done. So, bark number one is it this bark? Ruff, ruff. Okay. Or bark number two? Ruff, ruff. Or is it more like bark number three? Ruff, ruff. None of those sounded like Max. But one particular sounds like the most like him. Oh, probably probably the first one. Okay. If I were to pick one that's closest, but perfect. Like, no, yeah. that checks out. That checks out. So the reason I'm calling um, Ben. So Max has been great. He's been doing uh, fantastic here. He's made some uh, friends forever. And uh, but Max recently threw up a pair of be a, a pair of black underwear. And we tried getting a hold of a Melanie, but she didn't answer. So I'm calling you. Uh, he's okay. Um, but we're going to be able to, uh, we're going to put these aside so they can get picked up when Max is picked up later on tomorrow. Hello? You don't, you don't, you don't have to, you, you don't have to keep those. You, you can just go ahead and toss those. Well, no, it's, it happens all the time and we don't, we try not to disregard property. That's not, um, in our wheelhouse. We can't have the certification to that. So I'm just calling to let you know, cause in case you watch on videos in, uh, the live cam of the uh, camp, he's fine. Um, we just want to put, let you know we have these. So when Melanie picks these up, it's going to be absolutely fine. Yeah, you you really don't have to worry about. I mean, yeah, you can just go ahead and throw them away. Melanie's, you, you know, Melanie's a little self conscious about her underwear and stuff. So yeah, just just throw them away. We'll get we'll get her a new pair. It's fine. Just just throw them out. But I, I can't do that though. So I'm just letting you know. Why can't you throw them out? I, I'm not legally. You guys didn't sign off on that kind of stuff. So I'm just letting you guys know that we're gonna have the bag for you. Yeah, you, you really don't have to worry about it. You can just throw it away. I mean, that, that's perfectly no, fine. But I, yeah, I, I'm just going to put it in the bag. If you, if you guys want to throw them away, that's up to you. No, don't, don't worry about throwing them in the bag. You guys can, I'm giving you, if you need some verbal recording or something like that, that you have it now. I, or I can do some electronic oh, signature. Maybe that, okay, let's watching. try that. Let's try that. So maybe if you just say loudly and clearly, throw the panties away, then maybe I'll be good to go. Okay. Um, throw the panties away. One more time, a little more loud, a little bit clearer. Throw the panties away. Just one final time, just really everything you got. Throw the panties away. What? Yes, we can say that. Um, ben, um, my okay. name is Intern John. Rose is here as well. Hi. Hoodie on the part of dog barking. Bravo, yep, by the way. We're doing uh, War of the Roses on your morning show. Uh, that is uh, Melanie. So... It's like a lie, like nothing's actually oh. going on with Mac. Well, no, no, he actually threw up underwear. Mm-hmm. Black thong. Have you ever known me to wear a black thong? Do I, I mean, own no, a black thong? I, I own I no know. thong. That is I not mean, my underwear. Mm-hmm. He could have eaten it when he was like going through trash or something. He could have eaten it like when what? I was taking him what? for a walk, and I just noticed. Like. He doesn't go through trash <laughs> on a walk. He's great trained. He won't go through trash in the house. What the hell were you doing while I was gone? Who was with you? And, and by, why is and he by the way, gone? such a quick turnaround too, from Sunday right? to getting that call. It's a very quick like. 
I, right? Do or bring somebody else over. I, I don't know. I don't know I mean, where he I got him. Like, like, I don't know where he got him. So I was just trying to have them throw him away. I don't, I don't know. You lie to me. And this when I'm just getting ready to go to your sister's bachelorette party. What's oh. wrong with you? Wait, where's the bachelorette party? It's next weekend. Oh my uh, god! Yikes. Come on, who's are they? The, uh, I mean, come on. I'll have give a little bit of respect for you if you tell me who who they are. Okay, but if I, are you going to forgive me? No, you idiot. Ben, I think I mean you're you're in, you're guilty here. So I mean, I didn't admit to anything. I was just asking hypothetically, like. Uh, I, who's are they? Why, why, why would wait, you need a ben, hypothetical yeah. situation? Why would who? What dude would go to his girl and say hypothetically, if I cheated, would you forgive me? That's when it looks like they cheated. Yeah. I mean, are men really this stupid? I mean, come on. I mean, sorry that I'm a philosophy major. Shut and I like up. Oh, Shut up, Plato. War of the Roses is pre-taped and possibly edited for broadcast with permission granted from all participants. Want more roses? Go to ymsradio.com. We'd love to hear your thoughts. War of the Roses on your morning show. 99338 is a number to text. You can call 877-995-4681. In Sterling, Bianca, good morning. Good morning. You heard War of the Roses. What'd you want to say? I just want to know whose underwear that is. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, yeah. 110% would love to uh, would love to know. I agree. Thank you so much for listening. Have a great day. <laughs> and everything celebs, music, TV, Rose has the entertainment report coming. What you got for us? Rihanna's halftime show just broke a record. We'll do it next right here. Your morning show. If I miss it on the show, I download the podcast. Your morning show.